what's up guys in this video we are exploring the savannah region in the northern part of ghana we are heading to the largest national wildlife park within ghana one of the best experiences i've had so far since living here must see absolutely enjoyed it we ended the video by visiting the oldest mosque in ghana as well make sure you subscribe by clicking that red button and give this video a thumbs up We're just about to find out which one is going to Damago and how much it costs. And then we're going to head to Mali National Park. How many can you see? Four. Four. Six. Where's the other two? Two. Two are facing us like this. You see the. You see this one. You see the two here. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. There are two facing us. Hi guys, so we made it to Morley National Park. We're just checking out the Morley Motel and there's a pack of uh, elephants in the water just chilling. Like it's amazing. It's breathtaking. The view is insane. Like 
I'm loving it so far. We're yet to go on the safari, but we just had to do this in the meantime because the guy that's taking us isn't ready yet. So this is the view so far. Look at this. Crazy. When the animals come to feed, then they attack them. Oh, okay. That is no pain. In. Have you ever had to use them? Uh, we are keeping them for protection of our lives. In case an animal species becomes aggressive and charges on us, okay. the best we can do is to give a warning shot that will scare the animal away. Because they are not used to the sound of weapons. So in the day, we are expecting to see antelopes of different kinds. And in the park we have six different species of animals. Monkeys of different kinds, and we have four different species of monkeys. Elephants, warthogs, we have 600 elephants. Warthogs, that's the bush mix, the many more species in the day. On the left, the species we are seeing. That's That is what? Uh, well, I don't know. Me and Adis are buying for now. I ended some people in the package. Okay. Oh, it's part of the package to do the tour. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Chew it without getting hurt because they have single so much. Oh, okay. they doing drinking water just playing relaxing, oh, relaxing. and cooling their body mm. you know their real color is black and anything that is black attracts a lot of heat oh okay so it comes to drink and also cool their body temperature oh, okay. so beautiful per hour you guys can you see the scenery here it's amazing like 
if you come here without even seeing the animals like it's just beautiful because the scenery and the it's so quiet it's so nice it has two types of elephants okay namely the forest land elephant and the savannah we has only the savannah elephants oh okay scientific name is lazadanta africana okay. and these savannah elephants they are usually bigger than the forest land elephant right okay lazadanta africana is the scientific name they can stay 60 to 70 years before they die mm. next one do you know how elephant. old these are like estimating this will be around 40 around 40 years old so yeah so the female one uses 22 months to deliver when it is pregnant. Okay. Under no circumstance can the elephant deliver two or more in mm -hmm. one pregnancy, if not one. That right. makes the elephant a fully protected species. Mm. They use this 18 hours in feeding, 6 hours in resting to make the complete 24. Okay. They make sure they feed 300 to 350 kilograms of food a day. So they only eat vegetables, like plants, right? Mm, yes. They don't eat any animals. Yeah. They feed on grasses, yeah. leaves of plants. Some selected root of trees and the last one is salt lake. Okay. Salt so this lake is because salt? of the natural salty content in the soil. So this is salty? No, I will show you a salt lake. Okay. So what is this? Is this a river? This is a dump. You guys created it? Yes. Oh, okay. It's not natural. Just to give clear view over the lot oh, when people okay. are there, can still get access to some of the animals. Gotcha. Okay. We have some of the dams in different areas. Mm -hmm. And we also have natural water bodies like the streams and the rivers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The color of the elephant is black. Right. But they always mm -hmm. use sand and muddy on their body to reduce heat and direct contact from tethered flies bite. Mm. And that process is known as wallowing. Okay. Elephant also happens to be one of the fastest species on the ground. They cover 40 kilometers per hour. Right. They have the kneecaps in the foot and the kneecaps is like a four wheel drive. Mm. When it is running, the four foot goes the same time. Mm -hmm. And that same kneecaps is like a life jacket to the elephant. Mm. When it is in the water, it's always floating and doesn't sink. When does a fly get into the ear or maybe a poacher? Person using a weapon or gun. Mm. This is just the enemy or somebody, something that can kill you. So we have a lot of crocodiles, tortoise and turtles, and different types of fish in this dam. In this dam. So the tortoise don't get eaten by the uh, crocodiles? No. Okay. Because we the tour guys, we tell them what to do and what not to do. Oh, you tell the crocodiles? No, we tell our guests. Oh, okay. For example, you don't have to go close to the water. Too close, yeah, sure. The official distance for watching the animals is 50 meters away. Okay. But sometimes when we identified some of the animals which are a bit friendly because mm -hmm. they've been coming around the community mm -hmm. and they are becoming used to human, we sometimes allow people to go a bit closer than the 50 right. meters. This is so amazing. Look how close we are. Wow. So when they goes into the water, the portion that has got into the water, you see the color to the blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this. Is this one going to come here? It wants to go into the water. Oh, okay. Jeez, oh my god, it's so scary. It looks like it's walking towards us. So are they family like? Yes. So big. Some are bigger than this. In the oh really? Yeah. We only give them protection. That is protecting their lives against poaching activities. Okay. Okay. And keeping them for future generations. Right. Yes. Would a python attack an elephant? Because of the weight of the elephant. elephant okay. Even lion is afraid of elephant because of this weight. Oh, yeah, it's okay. It's only when lions are many on one elephant. Okay, they're, they're then they can. Okay. Crocodile says, Why would I be wasting my time on elephant when I know I would not be able to feed on feed it? Feed on it is too big. <laughs> so, so when the elephants are coming, they give them weight. But yeah. we stick with it, we stuck on it. That is going to be the end of yeah. You guys, can you see these elephants? I feel like they're right there. Like you can literally just touch it. Oh yeah, the crocodile. Yeah, yeah. The soil particles will go into the eyes of the fish. Ah, so I can't and see. Get the opportunity to take it. To yeah. Feed on the fish. 
so beautiful. So that is the relationship between they the elephants have, and the crocodile. Ah, so they kind of help them find food, basically, uh, right? Okay. They're so like deadly, those crocodiles, because they're like just chilling. You would think there's nothing there. And then you're like, oh, let me just go and walk. The bird is walking on the thing, mm, on the crocodile. Just walking by it. They immediately turn the head side there. To it will fly, okay. <laughs> It knows the tail cannot do anything. Anything, ah. Uh, so you watch. See, it's kind of moving. It's ready to like. Mm. It's very alert. Yes, you can tell. <laughs> Have you had anyone try to do like something dangerous and like try to walk into the water or something? Mm. No, okay. Are there any baby elephants? They're all like pretty big. We can get baby ones when we go deep in the forest. Oh, ah, okay. They usually they usually don't come to the yeah. dam. Oh, because okay. they look aggressive when they are with babies. Oh, okay, okay. Right. Before you can get a baby one. Ah, okay. And the buffaloes. Okay. Yeah. It's a reddish bed by the green grasses there, African jacana. Okay. This is a sight worth seeing guys. You guys come around this season because apparently it's the best time to see the elephants and stuff. Come have a look. It's beautiful. Like it's worth the journey. Absolutely. It's nothing like it's not the same as being on camera, you know what I mean? It's different to when you're standing right there. I feel like you can just walk there and touch the elephants. Like don't do it though. Otherwise you're not returning. <laughs> I, imagine I like it. nature. Yeah. It was when we were in school, we came on excursional basis. Oh, there okay. I developed the interest, interest in, in the nature. And the, okay. So when I completed, I applied. Unfortunately, on my side, I had the opportunity. Okay. I was being called for an interview. Okay. And after the interview, later I was being given a training letter. Right. So I came and passed through the necessary the training. training. Okay. Thank God I've been able to go through. Okay. So what's the training like? Is it gruesome? Like, do you have to do anything crazy? Oh, yeah. We train with the military. Oh, okay. 64. Okay. The Rollins Training Center. Oh, right. Okay. So it's a very hard It's thing. intense. Okay. You see this weapon? It looks rough, but even powerful than what the military is using. Oh. Because they deal with human, and we deal with animals, animals with hard skin. Yeah, right. So this rifle point. So every ranger who works here has gone through that the training. training yes. Okay. Uh, in summary of the pack, we have 94 different species of mammals, mm -hmm. 33 reptiles, mm -hmm. 9 amphibians, 700 different tree species and 350 different species of birds. Mm -hmm. Even though we have 7 parks in Ghana, Moli National Park is the biggest and largest. Mm -hmm. And we don't just boast of the biggest or the largest, but mm -hmm. we talk of animal population too. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. There's another one just here. There's so many. So why do they hide in the water to pretend like they're not? They there? are just searching for the fishes oh, to feed okay. because the elephants are playing. Right. The soil particles will go into the eyes of the okay. fish. So when the elephant comes to the water, they are always very happy mm. because they know definitely they will get food. Mm -hmm. What kind of fish do you have? Even this tree, the zizi fish. This one. What I call wait a minute. It has wild fruit and it is edible. Edible. Oh, okay. The one with the spikes. Yes. Okay. The tamarind tree is edible. Oh, okay. You have tamarind trees around tamarind here. Okay. But they are edible. Okay. But just because they are in the park, we keep them for future okay. generations. Sure. Mm -hmm. So they have a unique color. Unlike the domestic ones, has so many colors, like mm -hmm. the silver color, the mm -hmm. white color, the multicolored. Mm -hmm. Another difference is that these wild ones, when they lay their eggs, they are able to sit on the eggs till they hatch. Oh, okay. But the domestic ones cannot hatch their own eggs unless you transfer it to a fowl before hatching takes oh, place. Okay. So. You guys, I'm saying goodbye to my lovely elephant friends. I'm so sad. I could stay here all day, honestly. So, so nice. But yeah, there's other stuff to see in the park, so we're gonna go.
Okay, so we paid 20, uh, 200 CDs to get a Jeep to go on the safari, and then it's 20 CDs per, uh, no, 10 CDs per person to go on the tour in general. And then at the main entrance, you pay another 20 CDs to get in if you're not a student. So in total, we paid 260 Ghana CDs because there's two of us. It's pretty affordable for the site that you get to see amazing it's unbeatable like you definitely have to check it out whenever you're in Ghana amazing year was it discovered? Yeah, actually, uh, in history, mm -hmm. uh, around 1421, oh, okay. I think the urban community was noticed to be a blessing community. Okay. People treat all of all walks of life mm. to come to Larban to offer prayer. Okay. Like I said, it is the first mosque in Ghana, in Ghana. and it's noted. Right. Even yes. West Africa is one of the oldest mosques. Mosque, okay. the tour it was a lovely experience i hope you check it out whenever you're in ghana thank you so much for watching don't forget to follow your bliss so now life is short follow your bliss now you pray your day follow your bliss now the best yeah yeah and follow your bliss now